everybody. This is John Smith, Safety Director at Freedom Trans Dedicated, coming to you around the 1st of May, 2023. We're going to be talking about our safety topic of the month, and, and the topic for this month is probably a no-brainer. We're going to be talking about road check coming up May 16, 17, and 18. This is CVSA's International Road Check. It's an annual event, it comes, uh, comes around every spring, and again this year, coming up May 16, 17, and 18. Now, the event this year is going to focus on anti-lock braking systems, or ABS, and cargo securement to highlight the importance of those aspects of vehicle safety. Although ABS violations are not out-of-service violations, ABS plays a critical role in reducing the risk of collisions by preventing the wheels from locking up or skidding, allowing the driver to maintain control of the vehicle while braking. In addition, improper cargo securement poses a serious risk to drivers and other motorists by adversely affecting the vehicle's maneuverability, or worse, causing unsecured loads to fall, resulting in traffic hazards and vehicle collisions. Now, during road check, inspectors will conduct their usual roadside safety inspections of commercial motor vehicles and drivers. Data will be gathered from those three days and shared later this year and sort of give a snapshot of the state of commercial motor vehicle and driver safety. Now, this road check event also provides an opportunity to educate the motor carrier industry and general public about the importance of safe, CMV operations and the North American Standard Inspection Program. I want to talk a little bit about seat belt usage. Last year there were more than 50,000 seat belt violations written up with drivers. This is according to the FMCSA's uh, Management Information System. It was the fourth most cited driver violation in 2021, accounting for about 5% of the total number of driver violations. Uh, during a road check coming up, inspectors are going to check for seat belt usage big time. So have yours as always, have it on, wear it properly, and be ready. Since road check started back in 1988, and yeah, you heard that right, we're about 35 years into this road check event. More than 1.8 million roadside inspections have been conducted during these road check, these annual road check campaigns. Um, certainly the International Road Check is a CVSA program, uh, kind of with participation uh, by the FMCSA here in the U.S., the Canadian Council of Motor Transport Administrators, in other words, Transport Canada, and Mexico's Ministry of Communications and Transportation and the National Guard. So, let's talk a little bit about driver requirements. Now, as a professional driver, you should always be prepared for a roadside inspection any time of the year. It's always a good idea to keep certain documents handy and current, and coming up, Road Check 2023 is a great motivator to ensure you're ready. During the driver requirement part of an inspection, an inspector is going to conduct an interview with you, ask ba basic questions about your trip. They're going to take a look at your license. They're going to check your record of duty status. They may also want to check your medical examiner certificate. And if you're required to have a skill performance evaluation certificate, they'll ask to see that as well. So. During a roadside inspection, be prepared to provide inspectors with also proper permits. You should be ready to supply documents such as the International Registration Plan, the IRP cap cards, right? We can have that in electronic or paper version. The IFTA, the International Fuel Tax Agreement License, again, electronic or paper is fine, and the decal, state authority credentials, state mileage tax permits, temporary trip permits, and oversized overweight permits. Certainly some of those do not apply to our operation. I want to talk a little bit about now the cost of violations. Now, a roadside inspection may delay your trip, but receiving a violation will have an even bigger impact. 
most small violations carry a financial penalty and a major violation could put you out of service. In addition, each violation, no matter how small, affects your CSA score and Freedom Trans Dedicated's CSA score. A higher CSA score impacts your motor carrier's bottom line by increasing insurance premiums and reducing our safety rating. But it also affects you, the driver, by increasing the chance that you will be subject to more frequent inspections, which means more chance for delays and even more violations. It's easy to see how one bad inspection can create this, this vicious cycle for motor carriers and drivers alike. Now, what type of roadside inspections do they conduct? Well, there's, uh, there's eight levels of roadside inspections, each with a different focus and a different level of detail. Which type of inspection could you be subject, subject to at, at, on any given day? Well, the first one, the, the level one inspection, is a comprehensive driver and vehicle inspection, right? They examine the driver, documentation, plus a detailed inspection of the truck and or trailer. Uh, level two is a, a cursory driver and vehicle inspection. They examine the driver, the documentation, and just a simple inspection of the vehicle. Level three is driver only. That's where they examine the driver and just the documentation only. Level four, five, six, seven, and eight, we really don't see those much, but level four is a targeted inspection uh, where they can examine one specific item, such as a driver's maybe record of duty status or maybe just one component of the vehicle. Level five is vehicle. That's a detailed inspection of the vehicle only. Six is radioactive cargo. Seven is jurisdictional, which means uh, maybe they're it's been mandated by a specific location to look for certain things. And eight, level eight, is just an electronic inspection. That's where it's either conducted wirelessly or remotely uh, and, and not necessarily requiring any interaction with, with an inspector and driver. Uh, so, but again, the most frequent level of inspections that we see certainly are level one, two, and three. Let's talk about the importance of pre and post trip inspections. Not only are you required to inspect your vehicle before and after every trip, doing so can help ensure a smooth and quick uh, drama free roadside inspection. Remember that before and after you operate your, your commercial motor vehicle, you got to satisfy, you got to be satisfied that the following parts and accessories are in good working order. Service brakes. Right, that includes the trailer brake connections. Next, the parking or the handbrake. Next, the steering mechanism. Next, lighting devices and reflectors. Then tires, and then your horn, and then windshield wipers, rear vision mirrors, coupling devices, wheels and rims, and finally, your emergency equipment. By checking these before and after each trip, you set yourself up for a safe and successful trip. So there you have it, guys. Road Check 2023 coming up May 16, 17, and 18. If you go through a roadside inspection, as always, remember to call me immediately as soon as possible. I'm gonna ask that you send me a copy of that inspection by just taking a picture and texting it to my phone. And let's, let's try to get through, as we try to do every day, drama-free, violation-free, and it really helps us going forward throughout the year and, again, over the next couple of years as well. So, hopefully, this has been helpful. If you have any questions, as always, give me a call. I'll be glad to talk with you in more detail about road check and roadside inspections and, and anything uh, pertaining. So hope you have a good May. Hope you have a good three days coming up, 16, 17, and 18. And I'll be back here about this same time next month with a different safety topic. And hopefully at that time I can brag about how good we did getting through Road Check 2023. Be safe and take care.